Paul's letter to Titus, chapter 2. As for yourself, you must say that what is consistent with sound doctrine, namely, that older men should be temperate, <clears throat> dignified, self-controlled, sound in faith, love, and endurance. Similarly, older women should be reverent in their behavior, not slanderers, not addicted to drink, teaching what is good, so that they may train younger women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, chaste, good homemakers, under the control of their husbands, so that the word of God may not be discredited. Urge the younger men, similarly, to control themselves, showing yourself as a model of good deeds in every respect, with integrity in your teaching, dignity, and sound speech that cannot be criticized, so that the opponent will be put to shame without anything bad to say about us. Slaves are to be under the control of their masters in all respects, giving them satisfaction, not talking back to them or stealing from them, but exhibiting complete good faith, so as to adorn the doctrine of God our Savior in every way. For the grace of God has appeared, saving all, and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly and devoutly in this age, as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own eager to do what is good. Say these things, exhort, correct with authority. Exhort and correct with authority. Let no one look down on you. Chapter 3. Remind them to be under the control of magistrates and authorities, to be obedient, to be open to every good enterprise. They are to slander no one, to be peaceable, considerate, exercising all graciousness toward everyone. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, delude, slaves to various desires and pleasures, living in malice and in envy, hateful uh, ourselves and hating one another. But when the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we have done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. This saying is trustworthy. Advice to Titus. I want you to insist on these points that those who have believed in God be careful to devote themselves to good works. These are excellent and beneficial to others. Avoid foolish arguments, genealogies, rivalries, quarrels about the law, for they are useless and futile. After a first and second warning, break off contact with a heretic, realizing that such a person is perverted and sinful and stands self-condemned. When I sent Artemis to you, or Tychicus, Try to join me at Nicopolis, where I have decided to spend the winter. Send Zenos, the lawyer, and Apollos on their journey soon, and see to it that they have everything they need. But let our people to learn to devote themselves to good works to supply urgent needs, so that they may not be unproductive. All who are with me send you greetings. Greet those who love us in the faith. Grace be with you. Good night, everyone. I love you.